Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Tuesday, November 26, 2013, Class 34, Responding to One of a Suit After an Overcall. Your partner opens one of a suit and we've gone through the response and your partner opens mine in one major. Except now your right hand opponent throws in a, a bit of the suit. Does that change things? The answer is assuredly it does. Take a look. You open your partner opens one of the suit, right hand opponent overcalls. You may have had your bid stolen by the bid. The overcall may actually assist you in certain situations, particularly in the government, which we'll cover tomorrow. But bidding a new suit is still forcing and lets you play weak jump shifts. We talked about no shifts here on that. Weak jump shift is preempted. And if you play it that way, then it is not forced. What choices are available to you? What other choices are there? Look, let's start with partner opening the minor suit. Our first objective is still the same and hasn't changed. Show a major suit if we have one, but we may have difficulty in showing it. We may not be able to economically show the major because it's too high and we are strain. The double of an overcall up to an agreed level. Usually translated as negative or a takeout deal. It is not a penalty though. I suggest that if overcalls up to the level of three clubs uh, and uh, following over following double be treated as negative. The structure of minor suit rules we covered in the last class that included after overcalls. But assuming that that's not possible, no trump bids or natural just like they would be without the overcall, except you now do show a stopper in the overcall or suit when you bid it, when you bid an intro. And you tend to be more than minimum. You don't need to stretch to keep the bidding with your partner. You'll have another opportunity to bid. So if you have a bare six points, don't worry about bidding unless you have something to set up. That's another opportunity. Let's talk a little bit about negative doubles. What suit and what length do you promise in various sequences of negative doubles? Let's say it goes one club, one diamond, and you double. In this case, and in this case only, you promise there's four cards in both majors. Let's say it goes one club, one heart, or one diamond, one heart, and you double. You're showing four spades. What if it goes one club or one diamond? The opponent overcalls a heart and you get a spade. In this case, you're promising five spades because it's double and show four. So you're showing five spades in this specific case. How about one club or one diamond, one spade, double? You're showing four to six hearts. Now, why four to six? Well, if you had five, you might be able to bid it, but you have to go to the two level. The two level, you need ten points. So you need both five hearts and ten at one more point to do two hearts. So when you double, you're promising four hearts, but you could have as many as six, but less than ten points. What strength do you promise with your negative double? And this is, this is true whether you're doubling or from a major or minor suit opening. The point is, partner has to respond to the negative double. So, if you double at the one level, you're only promising six points. The two level, you're promising eight. The three level, you're promising ten. Four more. But notice in all cases, it's unlimited. The negative double does not have an upper limit. It can be as high as the sky. More Q&A. How do you play double of higher level overcall? The double of an overcall of three diamonds, three hearts, or three spades is called a trump level. Well, at least that's what I recommend. It's a multi burden level. And it's think three no trump. You have enough points to 
explain through no trump if if your partner has a stop or you see we're not promising stop or you see we're asking partner should do three no trump or you stop of course you can do other things but that's what you're showing you're showing an opening hand if you don't have a stop there so if you had it you could do no trump yourself there's no stop there's no stop or you see Opener should read a suit. We did a first suit to be a second suit, but not be a no trump. Doubles of higher bids than three spades are normally translated as penny, although partner can pull it, he, he does so at his own risk. He's basically saying I have some cards and I don't want them. I don't want to defend. Uh, but I think we can set him up to you by you know, point shot. Translated as penalty. Here's some examples of various numbers. This is your hand. You have 11 high card cards. Partner opens your card, right hand in front of you, diamond. You get a heart. You cannot double because you don't have four hearts in the first day. But you don't need more than four hearts with the one card. And it's just as though the uh, right hand opponent has passed. It's still forcing. Next turn. You have both majors this time. Bidding is the same. This time you double. You're promising four cards in both majors. How about this hand? Bidding goes. One club, one diamond. What you do? You double. Yes, you could bid a heart. But you're better off to, to double your partner knows immediately you have both made using your nostril. Really that strong could be bidding twice. Spade suit may be missed. It probably won't be, but it's more descriptive to bid double. But probably the only bid you met partner did something in the past. Look at some more examples. Yeah, you can't get stronger all the time. The club and the diamond. Now you bid a heart. If you're strong enough, you're going to be able to bid two suits. You can actually reverse and bid spades a second time. You want to force and you want to be the game. Either no trump, hearts, or even spades. You don't know where you want to be the game. You can bid hearts this time. Negative double doesn't really move you forward that much. How about this hand? Good looking spades, not much else. You can go with a club and a card. You double. You have great spades, but you only have four of them. So you double. You have five spades, so you get a spade. Come on. Come on. Now you're five, five, and you're not, not very strong. You have a club of diamond. You get a spade. You can bid the hearts next time. You plan to bid hearts the next time you bid the hearts. You have a spade suit, but if not, you bid hearts. You're going to play in another suit. How about this hand? One diamond, two clubs. You're now at the two level. You still can double. You have enough strength. But if you had a queen less, you probably would. How about this hand? Partner opens the club, right hand opponent gives the heart, you double. You're shooting the spades. Two hearts by left hand opponent, pass, pass, it's your video. You, you, do. you can get two spades. Why? You have a pretty good looking hand, and you have no wasted value using hearts. Crack at it. You're not showing five spades on bidding because you would have. If you had five spades the first time, you would have bid it. So, partner knows you only have three spades. But you must have a hand much better than six points when you struggle with ten points. How about this hand? One diamond, two clubs. What you did. You can double. In this case, you're not promising both majors, you're promising a major. 
we have over there. How about this here? One diamond, two quarters. Again, you can double. You have four hearts. You're not promising both numbers. You're promising three numbers. Now we change to case two. Partner opens a major. This is a little bit different because we stand a better chance of, of winning the contract, especially if you have a major six pick. Regardless of the overcall, if you play with the overcall, your first priority is to support. And there's not much of a difference in the way you raise after the major call. Bergen raises are off, however, except after the specific sequence of one heart, one spade, one heart, one no trump, or one spade, one no trump. The reason is that you will need to be in my pursuits naturally after a no trump. A qubit of the opponent's suit shows at least game invitation to the other suit. Will be too much on for the most part off. Doubles and bids up to three clubs are negative to take out of the all in my receipt. Now I'm looking for a receipt. Yes. No trump bids are natural as they win one going to the stop in the receipt. Negative double after a major suit opens. Let's look at some cheating. What does the sequence one heart one spade never show? It shows four cards in minor and two nines for hearts. What does a negative double of a two level bid show with two unbid majors? That's a really trick question. Eight high card points at least one four card major. We covered that last time. What does a negative double of a two level bid show if one unbid major? Three high card points and four cards in the unbid major. And lastly, what does a negative double of a two level bid show if no unbid major? Eight high card points and four cards in one minor. <laughs> kind of confusing. You can't promise everything in the game. On your convention card, it's important that you mark negative doubles. Put it on your convention card. Here's where it goes. Negative doubles to three clubs and trump doubles to three diamonds, three hearts, and three spades. Mark the angry number to alert. Tomorrow, we're going to cover the other case where the partner opens one of a suit and the next hand doubles. What's your response? See you tomorrow.